When I think of CDHC, I immediately think of Dave Rosenstein, whom I hope many of you recall. Uh, I remember Dave very well because my first interaction with him was when I was for CDHC. And he came up to me at Manhattan News Network, phone, well, had piece in his ear, trying to adjust my mic, telling me where to hold my hands, probably probably would be yelling at me right now because I don't have my hands in the right place for the lens. Uh, and when I think of Dave, I inevitably think of Monica and Will, who have continued his legacy of community journalism, local journalism, highlighting the local heroes in our neighborhood uh, through CBA Speaks, even through a pandemic. Uh, when I think of Dave, I also think of Rita and the relationship that they had, the friendship that they had together. When I think of Rita, I think of James Academy Place, and I think of Rupert Park, and I think of Sanam and Muslim volunteers, and all the other people who have given time to taking care of our parks. And finally, of course, when I think of the parks, I think of Barbara and Peggy and Barry and Judy and Felice and all of the members of the community board who I've seen on the waterfront, you know, one of our parks. And you already know the answer to this because you know me, but you know that when I think of the parks and waterfront, I think of my home. So with all of that, it is a distinct pleasure and honor of mine to stand here and to uh, declare September 20th, uh, CBA Peak uh, Appreciation Day in honor of 15 years of this incredible program that is the only of its kind throughout the entire city. And I'm extremely uh, thrilled and honored to be standing there today in front of my friends and neighbors, thanking you two and the rest of this community for continuing on the tradition and importance of local journalism. Thank you. I'm humbled out. Thank you so much. I, I wish they were here. It was such such an instrument for community board and speech. I want to share one short story. 16 years ago, Ken Mill, the original founder of CBA speech, community board and speech, and they also speak in five of members of the housing committee on Sharon Hope. Sharon really is the godmother of community board and speech because she won the three of us together and eventually here, here I am thanking everybody. Finally, thank Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Everybody has the name of Manhattan Neighborhood Network. They're the ones who trained us, they host the yeah. studio, and they supported us all these years without the community board and would not be on the air. Thank you so much. Congratulations to Rick and Monica and uh, CB8 Speaks and everybody who's been involved. It's been a real group effort by all of CB8 uh, over the years, people who have interviewed people, people who have been interviewed, uh, but really led uh, by you guys and of course by uh, David Oakley and Joseph Stein. So uh, thank you very, very much and we're very proud of you and proud to be a part of this work because of you. Congrats to the Communications Committee. Um, fantastic uh, achievement. And uh, I was super proud whenever I got to be interviewed, and uh, that was exciting for me. There's a motion to adjourn. Great. Okay. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>